بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمدللہ رب العالمین وصل اللہ وسلم علی نبینا محمد وعلا علی وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد ایو الحبت فی اللہ امام المحدث شیخنا شیخ مقبل بن حادی الوادعی اللہ یرحمہ was asked ما حکم من يأمره أبوه أن يشري له حاجات مقروها أو محرمة مثل 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 الدخان والشمة والقات فهل يطاع أم لا إمام مقبل بن هادي الوادعي الله يرحمه was asked what is the ruling regarding the person whose father asks him to buy things that are disliked or that are muharram, that are haram, like cigarettes, like shamma, and like qat. Qat is a plant that is chewed, especially in Yemen and in East Africa, and it is in the West as well. Should the person be obedient to their father um la, to their parent or no the shaykh responded rahmatullah by saying la yuta' inma ta'atu fil ma'roof bel alayka an tansaha waladaka wa tarfaqu bi fafaraka bayna talib al-ilm muta'allam wa bayna ammi فهو إن كان أكبر منك سنا فأنت طالب علم أرجو أن تكون أكثر منه عقلا وأكثر منه فطنا لأن طالب العلم يذكي وينمي العقل وينمي الأخلاق الطيبة فأنت تحسن إليه وتقول له هذا الأمر لا أراه وأنساك أن تبتعد عنه وأن تتركه والله مستعان. إمام مقبل بن هادي الوادعي الله يرحمه responded by saying do not obey obey them or obey him because obedience is only in that which is righteous. Rather it is upon you to advise your parent and be gentle with them and. There is a difference between the student of knowledge that has learned and the general person. So if he is older than you in age and you're a student of knowledge, then I hope from you that you will be more than him in intellect and more advanced in understanding. Because a student of knowledge is in, uh, has intelligence and is developed, has a developed intellect and advanced or developed manners that are righteous. So you should be gentle and kind towards him. And you should say to him, this issue I do not think is permissible or and, and advise him to be far away and leave those uh, things that they wish to partake in. And Wallahu Musta'an wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.